For many industries and businesses, coronavirus pandemic is a crisis unlike any other in recent times. A unprecedented reality uh, fueling the debate around the future shape of our economic and social order, how we all live, work and play. But imagine a new world where pandemics are a thing of the past, where flattening of the curve is no longer a central concern, but instead mechanisms for preemptive control to model the curve before it even begin to take shape. This is a future possibility as our physical and digital worlds collide, integrated with human systems, underpinned by massive technological advancements in 5G, cloud integrated networks, advanced analytics and AI. We will see a new world capable of disintermediating the emergence of new global local threats in real time. A world that is ultra resilient, intelligently aware, and highly personal to fulfill the needs of societies uh, and where businesses can operate with a high degree of predictability. Also where jobs and future job skills can be enhanced through hu augmenting humans' cognitive and physical functions. This is what promise, the next decade promises to be. We are beginning to witness the restructuring of our economies and the curation of our human existence. With this vision in mind, I call for business leaders and policymakers to expand the agenda beyond near-term survival so that we can cut through the, the, the fog, uh, the cloud of uncertainty and collectively shape the future. As we move past the, the first wave of COVID-19 and I take stock of the, of the numerous global customer consultations I've had around the world, it's obvious to me that in the future, the timelines for companies to react to crisis or to even seize on opportunities will shrink dramatically, which means it's prudent for companies to set in place two somewhat intersecting couple models where one look at the crisis at hand and the other is thinking ahead. This helps them not only ride the wave, but also uh, secure the future. Since the onset of the pandemic, Nokia has shown remarkable leadership in all fronts. But let me uh, share with you a handful of diverse examples, how Nokia and Nokia Bell Labs is addressing the, the present while we shape the future. In the area of customer operations, we have been leveraging a lot of our innovations in the area of digital networks deployment. Traditionally, uh, f uh, network deployments is a very physical and manual um, uh, work requiring multiple site visits by many engineers. But, but, but by now using advanced drone technology, site digitization, we have been able to accomplish provisioning, acceptance and testing uh, of sites remotely. This reduces travel time and, and the need for a lot of engineers to be on site. With tens of thousands of 5G sites to be rolled out over the next period, you can imagine the dual benefit of this remote approach would not only help reduce carbon emissions, but help in cost efficiencies. Thinking about uh, safety and agility side of things, I remember in the early days of the pandemic where PPE was a scarcity, two Nokia Bell Labs researchers used their compassion and ingenuity to 3D print face shield masks in, 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 in a very speedy manner to, to assist and help essential workers on the front line. Now, it's obviously hugely beneficial and it's significant in terms of what was done, but the significance goes far beyond the obvious. It taps into uh, the vision of Nokia in the industrial automation space, where distributed 5G cloud-enabled networks and its ability to adapt to production needs on demand in a local setting could be game-changing. Imagine local smart factories producing automotive component one day, but the next day it could be reconfigured to produce life-saving equipment like ventilators. A, a, a rethink of the global supply chain might be in order. Furthermore, as we start to, as the world starts to open up, uh, municipalities and government need more support in terms of population tracking and policy optimization. Balabs has developed a, a novel algorithms coupled with advanced visualization techniques to assist and help uh, municipalities ingest COVID-19 uh, hotspot related data with mobility patterns to be able to control movement on a hyper-local basis. It's very important when it comes to opening up the economies and maintenance for economies now. Uh, furthermore, a step in the area of uh, biophysical integration, uh, Bell Labs has been making some further breakthroughs. 
uh, optical coherence tomography (OCT) it's called is a invasive procedure, non-invasive procedure for, uh, using 3D techniques for for looking at uh, early disease detection. Very useful, but there's a problem. They are big and expensive. But we have been using our photonics research in the telecommunication space to apply that to OCT, and we have been able to miniaturize that from a size of a small filing cabinet to a cell phone. The idea in the future is to miniaturize it further where we could, we could, it could be planted under human skin for continuous monitoring of our health and sharing and, and, and relaying that information to a trusted analytical uh, diagnostics engine in the cloud. With 5G in, in place, we are now beginning to see we are connecting more than smartphones, sensors, machines, and everything is coming within the network fold. As we move into the 6G era from 10 years from now, it will usher in a new form of uh, human augmentation where the hyperconnectivity will expand, extend to the human bodies, ushering in this new advancements in human augmentation. With that, I will try to like to close, but I'll raise this point around the, the human augmentation topic also hold profound value in the, in the space of future work. Some of the analysis my team is conducting calls for a fundamental value reassessment uh, of, um, of labor markets post COVID realities and human augmentation plays a very important role. I intend to speak to you on that topic in the near, near, near future. Thank you.